Is President Biden considering stepping down? Absolutely, absolutely not. And you heard, I, th I believe, directly from the campaign as well. That's the message coming out of the White House today after a New York Times article suggested he might bow out. This morning, the paper reported a Biden ally told the Times the president knows he needs to spend the holiday weekend convincing voters he is up for the job after a poor performance at the debate. Well, this afternoon, the president was on a call with a group of Democratic governors, including Roy Cooper, to reassure them he's staying put. WRL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us now live from the state legislative building. Laura, what do we know about this call? And I know you talked with some local lawmakers as well who are offering their opinions on whether or not the president should stay in the race. You know, Deb, I think it's fair to say that the fallout from this debate has really fractured the Democratic Party nationally and here just in North Carolina. While President Biden today on that call with the governors reassured them that he intends to stay in the race, some within his own party aren't sure that's the best option for November. The Biden campaign has cast the president's debate performance as a bad night, a one-time lapse due to fatigue or illness. But national reporting has revealed a series of mental lapses in recent weeks, some in the presence of other world leaders. We asked all seven congressional Democrats if they believe the president is fit to run for re-election and if they think Biden should stay in the race. Congressional Democrats Deborah Ross, Valerie Fushi, and Wiley Nickel all said yes to both. But Nickel conceded Biden's performance left voters in doubt. In politics, perception is reality, and those are very real and legitimate concerns that people have. Anyone running for president needs to be up to the job, and uh, the only person who can dispel that notion is Joe Biden. Congressman Don Davis called the debate a disaster. If he's going to stay in, Davis said in a statement, he needs to step up. Congresswoman Alma Adams didn't take a position. Congress members Manning and Jackson didn't answer the question. I don't believe that Democrats can win with Joe Biden on the ticket right now. Thomas Mills is a longtime Democratic strategist who voted for Biden in 2020 and in this year's primary. I think he's done a remarkable job and I don't think he should step down. I just think that we, I don't think that he's going to make it four more years. Mills thinks Biden's debate performance convinced sources close to him to leak more information to the media. I think what you're seeing is, is, is an internal revolt within the Biden administration and possibly even the campaign where people are starting to say, look, this is what's really going on. Now, that, of course, would leave us with the question of who would replace Biden if Biden were to withdraw. Vice President Kamala Harris would obviously be the logical second choice, but that's not a necessarily a sure thing. Democrats could choose to have an open convention and pick their candidate at that convention. There's been a lot of names floating around, and one of them is Governor Roy Cooper. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh. President Joe Biden is reportedly weighing whether to stay in the race for the White House. The New York Times broke this story just before our newscast, and WRL's Chris Lovingood and WRL state government reporter Will Dorn have been getting reaction from local lawmakers and join us live right now in studio, guys. Yeah, Jeff, we were just talking about this before we got on here, but, you know, Will, the implications of President Biden possibly stepping out of the race would be huge for Democrats, but we have just learned in the last 30 minutes that the White House is denying this claim. Yeah, they say that uh, he is not talking with allies about stepping out. And we saw, you know, his first stop after that d poor debate performance on Friday was here in Raleigh. And he said that he is still up for the job. So I don't think it's irresponsible to think about what if scenarios, right, considering something like this. So it, let's say Biden does bow out of the race. What are the options that Democrats have? Well, you've got Kamala Harris, the vice president, right. would be the most obvious uh, pick to, to replace him. But, you know, there's all sorts of speculation about... Who else might step in uh, if, it, if it's not her? Even some talk about Governor Cooper, right? He's got that meeting that he's had with the other uh, Democratic governors across uh, the country right now that he's having a meeting with Biden today. Yes, today, uh, go Democratic governors, including Roy Cooper from here in North Carolina, are meeting with President Biden to air some concerns about that debate performance and the state of the 2024 race. What comes next? What is the plan? And... You know, Roy Cooper has been floated as a sort of dark horse pick in the past, uh, potentially for president, potentially as a vice president pick. 
Uh, and say that uh, Biden stays on the ticket. When he was here in Raleigh, he said that he may even put Cooper on his cabinet should he get reelected. And mind you, you know, Governor Cooper not running for governor again in North Carolina, exactly. even as his, uh, his uh, position is waning down for being in the governor of North Carolina. He's still very active talking about education across the state. Um, but even right now, after last week's performance, Biden's performance in the debate, Former President Trump, he's kind of taking a win. You've got that and the Supreme Court ruling that he does have some form of presidential immunity. Yeah, Trump has a lot of momentum right now, uh, both from the Supreme Court in that ruling and also in the polls that you're looking at. Um, you know, after that debate, we've seen you know a handful of polls have been conducted in the last few days, and all of them have shown that Trump is either staying steady or gaining momentum as people continue to have concerns about Biden. And again, just to be clear, this is a key Biden ally that is saying this according to the New York Times. But as we just learned within the past 30 or so minutes, the deputy press secretary is saying that these claims are false, even saying the New York Times, had they given us an additional seven minutes, we could have told them that. So it, we're going to be watching very closely. President Biden also expected to be having some sort of uh, TV appearances, even having a network interview at some point this week. So we'll be watching very closely.